I love the fact that my roots have grown out to the point where my hair is just like perfectly divided along my center part line. I am a true Harley Quinn. Hello, hello, and happy Halloween. My name is Echo. I'm gonna try desperately to get this video out on time. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we're gonna try. This is just meant to be a quick video because I really wanted to get at least one more video out before October ended. So here we are. I love Halloween so much, and I love my Halloween decorations, and I just don't wanna give them up. So I'm probably not going to. This year for Halloween, I'm going to be a bird. Let's remove this glow-in-the-dark sticker, shall we? I'm a spooky, scary skeleton full of candy. This is technically an XL boys shirt because boys get the best clothing. Let's move on. So I had to mail a bunch of stuff at the post office, so I got a bunch of stuff out of my P.O. box and I figured today I would just go ahead and open it on camera because I need a chill video. I just need to chill. I actually have a massive pile of mail that I've been meaning to go through for forever, but I have not gotten to it yet. So I'm just gonna start here and put all this stuff in the binder. Essentially, this is just a thank you video. I like making thank you videos to thank you for being beautiful humans. I have been meaning for a very long time to get stationary so that I can write letters back to people, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Ben, did you just move the camera? It does look off center now. Whatever, it's fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've, I've just got like ten envelopes I'm gonna go through today. This first one comes from someone named Cece who's 12 years old from New Jersey. I'm one of those weird people who opens my letters from the side instead of the top. I don't know when I started doing that or why, but it just makes the most sense to me now. I think I saw someone do it on TV and I've just done it ever since. Oh, it's a letter and a picture. Oh, this is nice paper. Oh, it says, please turn over first. Oh, that's sweet. It says, from CC 2 Echo, the best YouTuber ever. You're so nice. Thank you so much, CC. I love it. My eyebrows are on point too. I love that you gave me a Supernatural shirt also, just because I love Supernatural so much. Thank you, I'm keeping this forever. What's next? I think this one came from the UK. Yes, this one came from Great Britain, International Royal Mail. Oh, this is industrially taped. How do I even open this? Where's a knife? Knife! Based on the way this one is taped, I'm actually gonna cut it across the top, even though that's kind of unusual for me. Ooh, another fan art. This one's really pretty. Okay, it says, I hope you like the fan art. I had to paint the eyes because the ink smudged when <laughs> when I glued when I glued it on. That's beautiful. I love your videos and your weirdness. Oh, thank you, Rossi from Britain. I am going to try to link your deviant art in the description. First of all, Rossi drew themselves. Look at how cute that is. I love like intensely red and black stuff. It's just so very me. I bet I could like make it blend into my shelf. Look at that, that is great. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, Rossi, I love it so much. Ooh, this one's cool. Anna from New Jersey. This one has a wax seal. It looks like it accidentally got scraped off in the mail, which I hate it when that happens because I've had like a couple wax seals from people and a lot of the times they get messed up in post, which really sucks. Like I had a friend send me one that had like a Harry Potter stamp and Part of it got like nicked when it went through the processing thing. It was very sad. I'm gonna open this one regular too, just cause I've got the knife out. Ooh, I see more red and black. Also, I love that color. I just wanna throw that out there. Oh, pretty. Oh, I love it so much. Dear Echo, my name is Anna. I'm from New Jersey. I really like your videos and your art style. The main reason I wanted to write though was your coming out video. It meant a really lot to me to have somebody I admire and follow come out as ace. I'm also a romantic gray bisexual. I'm so, oh, that's so sweet. I am so happy. I'm, oh, can't words. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you so much. I feel like sometimes I put off reading fan letters just because I know I get all like smiley. Like even if no one's around me, I'll just like awkwardly be smiling to myself just because fan letters make me so happy. I liked your roasting fan art video, so I thought I would send in some of my own. Don't worry, it has red and black stripes. I hope you like it. Thank you, Anna. That's so cute. I like that she did it on like like, like a card stock too, and then like lined the edge, which you can't even see. Like the video will not do it justice. I love it, thank you. I also love the playing card aesthetic. I need more playing card paraphernalia in my life. This is very sweet, thank you so much. This one comes from Natalie. Gentle. All right, I'm gonna start with the letter. 
Oh, this is cute. Someone pointed out to me on Twitter that I say the phrase, it's cute constantly. <laughs> and now I'm so like self-aware about it. It says, dear Echo, hi, my name is Natalie and I'm a big fan of your channel. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> May have swallowed a bug right there. I love drawing and making hand-drawn keychains for me and my friends. I was making a keychain and ended up making a Jack Skellington version of Chewy Bunny. And you spelled Chewy Bunny correct. Good job. A lot of people get that wrong. I wanted you to have it. I hope you like it and that it doesn't cause any trouble in the mail. <laughs> have an amazing day, Nat. Oh, yay. Oh, sweet. I know the feeling about worrying that stuff's gonna cause problems in the mail because, like, I make pins kind of like this and I mail them out to my Patreon people and I am always worried that it's going to get eaten up in the mail so I pack them so intensely <laughs> with like bubble wrap and everything because I want to make sure that my Patreon people get their fancy pins every month. Gotta happen. That's actually what I was mailing today when I picked these up. And then let's open up the cute little Chewy Bunny. This is actually wrapped perfectly for mailing. Oh, it's a nice pin too. This is beautiful. I love it so much. That's amazing. I love it. Thank you. Also, it's a Thanksgiving tradition in my friend group to watch Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm going to be forcing all of my friends to watch it. I'm also weirdly excited for Thanksgiving, not necessarily for the holiday itself, but just because we're having like a YouTuber Friendsgiving and Crystal, Hannah, Chloe, and David are all flying out. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a Thanksgiving bash. This is adorable. Thank you so much, I love it. I'm gonna put it on my new backpack and I'm just gonna like carry it all around. I'm definitely wearing this on my bag for VidCon. Thank you, Nat. This one is from Jacob from either Alaska or Arkansas. Ooh, look, this one did not get messed up. It's a really pretty like crow too. This is nice because now I have a wax seal in red and a wax seal in black. This has been like a good flow of video. Dear Echo, I think you are an amazing and beautiful person. You probably hear that a lot, but I think it should be joyously restated. That's fantastic. I love your art and think you will always be relevant. That's such a beautiful YouTuber compliment. Thank you. You are in fact a national treasure. I also love your dog. Aw, I'm sure he loves you too. Ben, do you like Jacob? Hope your life stays grand. Cabby? I'm not sure what the signature is. Is it Cabby? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Also, I really like this paper. This is just like really nice paper. Thank you for the awesome wax stamp. That's awesome. Are, are wax seals coming back around? Cause I really want that to be more common. I love wax seals. I'm sure the post office hates them, but I love them. Ooh, this is a big one from Ruby. And then Minnesota. Oh, this is pretty washi tape. I don't even know if you can see that. I don't want to like show their address, but that's like really pretty, like metallic. I think it's washi tape. Yeah, that's really pretty. It's like a rose gold. All right, let's be careful not to cut the contents that Ruby has sent. Well, the very first thing I saw was this tiny card that says, by the way, can you do a fan mail episode? which is perfect timing. Fancy drawings. On the back, it looks like a bunch of doodles. On the front, it says, hi, I just wanted to say thank you for being a big art inspo. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you for being a big art inspiration for me. You're an amazing artist, stay weird. I love you, Echo from Ruby. Thank you. Also, I like this little heart, it's adorable. I see a pumpkin man, cute noodle arms and Instagram Ruby underscore M zero. Thank you so much for your beautiful artwork. I will post links and stuff in the description. Uh, please go tell Ruby thank you for me. This one is really freaking cute. Oh, that's clever. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like two of these like Frankenstein black and red stickers where it's like a red sticker and a black sticker that have been like cut in half and seamed together. That's adorable. Oops, I may have cut the letter. Ah, see, this is why I opened things from the side. Cut the top section off. It's cute lining though. All right, so we'll start with the letter section. That's kind of cool. Hey Echo, you inspire me to keep on doing art even though I think my art sucks. I'm, I promise you it's not as bad as you think it is. You are my favorite YouTuber. I bet you get this a lot. <laughs> Anyhow, I just love all of your stuff and sorry that you are going through a weird period. <laughs> Abby. Thank you, Abby. That's like a really cute letter. This is like a neat postcard. I should make stuff like this. Something that I've been meaning to do forever and one of the reasons that I keep putting off making just a fan mail video is because I wanna be able to send back 
like just a thank you card to everyone, but I haven't made it yet. And now that I have Crystal helping me with stuff, I need to see if she can do that for me. Just making the stationary stuff so that I can send it to the printer and pick it up. And then I can write out thank you cards and just like mail them more easily. And then, oh, cute. Abby drew an adorable picture of me and Phoenix and Chewy. This is my family, my beautiful imaginary family. Ben, you're moving my table. For anyone who's new here, Phoenix is my laptop. He wears a suit on business days. Three more. I think this one is from Katie. I think that says Katie. It's a Hallmark card. It's big and orange. This envelope is a Hallmark card. I don't know what's inside of it. Ooh, something Halloween themed. I'm in love with it already. Warning, beware of owls with glowing eyes and evil witches in disguise. Steer clear of scary unknown places and shifty strangers with hidden faces. Seasons creepings. Cute. Hi Echo, I saw your orphan DNA reveal video and I wanted to offer to do your family tree. I've done mine and my daughter's and a lot of others for people I work with. I don't charge anything. I'm saving to do a certificate in genealogy this spring through Boston University, then I will have some official qualification and I can charge the public some money. That's cool. So this person's actually studying to be a genealogist. That's the right word, right? Genealogist? Genealogy? I might take you up on that. This is a really cute card also. It's just really adorable. Halloween is my aesthetic. I want it to never end. I feel like this one wasn't supposed to be bent, but the postal service just kind of like shoved it in the mailbox. How dare they? It's like they didn't even try. That's why you've got to do what Lucy did and write a gigantic do not bend on it because otherwise the post office does not care. Even sometimes when you do write do not fold on stuff, they still fold it. My diploma that I got from university came in like a massive cardboard thing like this and the mail person still folded it in half and stuck it in our mailbox. My actual degree has a massive fold line going through it because the postal person did not want to follow those directions. This looks like it was colored with alcohol-based markers. Also, for anyone who's wondering, I am just slowly growing out my hair back to this. So it will be like that again eventually. Um, hi, my name is Emily. I found your channel maybe a year ago. I watched most of your videos in one day and then decided to subscribe. Welcome to my channel. Well, it's like a year ago, but still, welcome to my channel. I love your videos and you've taught me a lot about art, but I still can't draw mouths. <laughs> I know the feeling. Mouths can be really difficult. I love the video where you talked about how you killed the skunk. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so long ago. That video is so old. I even dyed the tips of my hair red because it looks so good on you. Oh, I'm glad. I'm also glad that you like are in a position where you can do that because a lot of people want to dye their hair and they can't because of like school or um, workplace regulations. I'm really lucky that I'm in a position where I can dye my hair like this. I live in Texas, so I understand what it's like to live in an oven. Yeah, Texas is another one of the states that's just really hot. Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and Southern California. Very deserty states. Thank you, Emily. This is very nice. I also love when people give me like very yellowy eyes. I used to always love that. Like ever since I was a kid, I always liked very like amber yellow eyes. And then the last one I'm gonna open has something in it. And this one has a tear open thing so I don't even have to cut it open. There's something plasticky in here. Whatever it is, I really like it so far. This is such a beautiful long letter. And there's pineapples. Oh, I love you. They're red too. <gasps> Oh, heck yes. Oh, you sent me the, ah, okay, okay. I should have realized it was washi tape. This makes me happy. My washi tape has like doubled in size since I made my washi tape video. I had to buy extra storage boxes for it. I got this from Hobby Lobby and thought of you. This makes me so happy because it's red and it's pineapples and pineapples have like recently become a small part of my aesthetic because of the comic that I want to make. I don't know why pineapples. I don't like green or yellow like a lot. They're okay colors, but they are so far from my brand. But pineapples themselves are just really cool aesthetic things. This is adorable. Thank you so much. I'm gonna add this to my collection and remember you forever. Thank you, Lucy. Okay, I'm gonna read letters first before I move on to page one, page two. Thank you for organizing them because that's gonna make life much easier. Hello, hello, Echo. How exciting. I'm writing you a letter. I hope it uh, gets to you. It has. Let me just say you're a beautiful person inside and out. Aww. 
Thank you. Aw, to me, you are one of the beautiful people. That's so sweet. I say that, th I feel like other people aren't necessarily going to get that, but like beautiful people is the thing that I say when I'm talking about like that idealistic celebrity, like, oh my God, wonderful person that you look up to on the internet and just in real life. I find it to be very unique, more interesting than most people and YouTubers alike. You're so sweet. Thank you for a few years now. I'm <laughs> Aw, I'm loving your concepts for your comic, by the way. AJ is my favorite and he is so cute. I'm glad that you like him because that's what I'm going for. I want to make him like a very, like, lovable character. I want to make something that um, people will fall in love with. And the name Imbalanced Diet is great. I'm glad you like it. I even helped vote. Thank you. Uh, I'm one of your Patreons. Nice. Oh, thank you for being a patron. Thank you. I love my patron people. I'm 17, female. One line is Crimson. Oh, Crimson, I know you. Okay, I know exactly who you are. I see your name in like chats and stuff all the time. Yeah, I know exactly who you are. I see you at live streams too. I want to say I've said hi to you a couple times. I could be wrong though. I love Halloween and it starts October 1st for me as well. Heck yes. I never want it to end. Tim Burton was my childhood. Yep. I can relate very much. There's so much more that I would love to tell you and talk about, but perhaps we can meet in person one day. I'm gonna be at VidCon next year. I'll be at VidCon in 2019, either just wandering around or potentially I will be on a panel. Find me, tell me that you are Crimson and I will know exactly who you are. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed both of my fan arts and this letter. For making it this far, I reward you with 10,000 awesome points. I love it when people give me awesome points. It's really adorable. I apologize for my sloppy handwriting. I'm working on it. I have read much sloppier. This this is fairly clear. I feel like I'm actually getting pretty good at reading like really choppy handwriting. It can be a skill at times. Fun fact, I've been procrastinating sending this to you because I'm nervous, I guess. I don't know. You got super lucky that you sent it at like the perfect time when I happen to be filming a mail video. Optional Q&A, answer in a video slash live stream. You may have answered these before. How much do you like Pokemon? Do you have a favorite Pokemon? If so, which one? Mimikyu is my favorite. I was about to say that my Mimikyu is like my current favorite Pokemon. I feel like I've had a couple favorite Pokemon throughout my life. I've really liked Eevee, Vaporeon, Vulpix, Ditto, and now I think my favorite is Mimikyu. He's just like that perfect balance of like creepy and cute and powerful, like Venom. I'm pretty good with like the first gen. I remember getting slightly upset as a child after they introduced the second gen because I had just memorized the first 150. So then I stopped uh, paying attention to Pokemon until Pokemon Go came out. And now that Pokemon Go is a thing, I'm getting to like re-experience Pokemon and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I am level 30. I'm also the lowest level in our friend group. Do you like Tim Burton? If so, what's your favorite movie by him? Does Nightmare Before Christmas count? Because it's written by him, but it's not actually directed by him. A lot of people don't know that. Also, that feels kind of like a cop-out answer. If I'm not gonna go for like super mainstream things, I would definitely say Big Eyes. Big Eyes is a really good movie. I think it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. It's one of Tim Burton's more serious movies, but it's also very like empowering almost, I want to say. And it's like art related too. Ooh, what is your favorite meme of all time? I love the troll face and the John Cena memes. I kind of want to say that my favorite meme of all time would be Velociraptor. It's like a nice good old fashioned meme before memes got too cluttered. I kind of miss when meme cycles lasted more than a week. As for the current cycle of memes, I I would probably say that Bongo Cat is my most favorite recent meme. Johnny Johnny Yes Papa was fun for a little bit. Very little bit. I like the memes where I catch them when they're small and then they grow to gigantic proportions and I get to tell everyone in my house about them. That or any medium rare vine. Hello Echo. I drew you some fan art. The ones I sent with you and Chewy is indeed a copy of the original. Honestly, I grew rather attached to that picture. I used to do that all the time when I was in high school, if there was a drawing that I was making for someone else or that I wanted to give someone, I would photocopy it because I didn't want to get rid of the actual one. I also grow very attached to my artwork. I hope you like them love crimson. That's cute. So we've got like a little patchwork chewy. Oh, I can see it through the back and it looks nice. Oh, that's cool. So you've got like process and like the final. This one is really nice. I'm actually kind of glad you sent me a print instead of the original. Hold on to the original forever. This is a really high quality print. I'm a graphic design nerd, so I love good printing. My degree is in graphic design, so I know like the difference between good and bad printing, and this is really freaking nice. 
This paper is really nice. I don't know if you can see that. They sent me a photocopy of the uh, the initial undersketch and of the final drawing. That is freaking beautiful. I love this so much. Chewy is so cute. I love that you made them like a little rag doll. That's adorable. I'm gonna just keep this in the plastic. And then the other one that they sent me also has washi tape on it, which is nice. This one is another drawing of Chewy Bunny as like a cute little rag doll, which I really enjoy. Also, I like the way that you drew Chewy's eyes. I like this like slightly triangular shape. This is really nice. This is really wonderful. Thank you. I love these a lot. Thank you to everyone who sent me letters and artwork. I love them. You're all wonderful. Thank you. I would love it if I could manage to make a fan mail video at the end of every month. I doubt that was going to happen, but you never know. So if you would like to send me something that could potentially be in a video, my PO box is at the very bottom of the description. Happy Halloween. Don't let Halloween die, at least not until Thanksgiving happens. I also have a Patreon if you would like to join that. Subscribe if you're new here because YouTube is broken. I think that's everything for now. I'm gonna give you 300 awesome points for making it to the end of this video and hopefully you have an amazing day. Goodbye. Spooky scary skeletons.